Hello everyone, this is our John Deere 4020 diesel. I think it's a 70 somewhere around there. We've owned this tractor, I think it was like four years old or something like that when we bought it. And we haven't ran it for the last four or five years because we haven't really needed it. Um, the only thing we've used this thing for was uh, raking hay and cutting hay, but uh, we got the 4430 to do that and the 8400 now. A lot of people have seen the video where I did a old start one year of starting this thing. Well, I haven't started this thing for over a year now. And there is a couple few reasons why I haven't been running it. So let's get into discussion about it. The reason why we have not been running this thing is it has nothing to do with the engine. The hydraulic system in this tractor is not working properly. So when you try to use the hydraulic system, it overheats all the time. So there's something probably internally wrong and we don't want to wreck it. It's a collector's tractor. We've always had it all our life. My dad's dad bought it when it was almost new. And these tractors are kind of like collector items. So there's the one problem we have. Now the second problem is, need some new tires, but has no AC, it does not have all the hookups and all the power for what we need to use it for. Tires going flat over here. Another major thing is you won't be able to see, the injection pump is leaking fuel, it looks like. Injectors are leaking. And uh, I don't know. We can see if she'll start, but I don't know. Yeah, she's down a little bit on oil. I'll have to give her a little bit of oil. See, is it any cracked head? Nope, looks good. I'll have to give her a little bit of oil. Stuck. No, it's not a turbo too. We just have that on there. I'm gonna go grab a battery in and grab one battery. I only got one battery, that's all I got anyway. And one battery should be enough to start it if it's 35, 40 degrees today, I would think. So let me go grab a battery and we'll see if this uh, old start year and a half about that. If it'll start up without ether. I'll bring some ether. But it shouldn't not e need ether. So let me uh, grab a battery and see if this old girl will shoot your life and smoke us out. Mint. Well, I got some bad news. I don't have a battery and or a battery. I thought I did, so I'll be able to start it this year. Um, it's a good tractor, like I said. It just don't need it anymore, and it's sad. And we're not gonna sell it though. So let's go back here and update you on on the Massey Ferguson 65 tractor it's got a four-cylinder wisconsin continental engine in there and the last couple of videos i did on it everybody was complaining oh that was an old star coast star well it was supposed to be but then i realized it had no spark i have points and condensers points and condensers rotor cap and coil and new plugs and wires for this thing I'm not going to have time to do it this year, but the main thing that we have to do before we even do that is figure out how to get the old gas out of this tank and get that carburetor fixed before we can even attempt to get the spark, spark sparking system fixed. For one thing, you want to get all that old gas out of a, any carpet or any vehicle because that old gas is very, very disgusting stuff in here. And you can see that it looks bad. I, oh man, that's terrible. It stinks. But uh, there's a reason why we're not doing anything with this because we don't have time. I have a lot of people asking me are we ever going to start it? Well, we're not going to have time to do it. To start it, well, whatever. Have time to start this thing. And then something comes up. And uh, this year, 
it's been difficult to farm because it's been raining so much and snowing so much so we don't have time to mess with these old things you know, it's just like the this thing I've always wanted to get this thing going this this was my childhood memory truck they used to drive before I got the brown Ford yes I'd like to drive it but it's gonna need a lot of work it needs money everybody needs money to fix it now the starter went out on this thing and we need to spend money on that because we use that we don't use these things they're just collectors that's the only thing this does not run we have tried to attempt to get it started in 2008 and 2009 the engine shot I'm not gonna do no video on this this thing's not even worth waste my time we burnt the starter out on it there's not even no chance of wasting your time with that now this is my dad's dad's tractor converted into power steering homemade Super M MTA and it has not been run since 2000 or 2001 the last time it was ran put a brand new exhaust brand new starter brand new tire on that side and brand new power steering on there and it was the last time it was ran it's been sitting in the spot since 2001 and we never started it I highly doubt it will start I'm assuming it's seized I'm sure it's seized got a brand new starter on there had a brand new carb kit brand new exhaust tires not in the back but in the front and power steering and that was it it ran a sense well, that one's a super M the first one made in South Dakota very rare that one's seized and then we have an old can't get over it to an old Ford about a 50s that used to drive the V8 rare one with the exhaust around the front I can't get to it I've never heard that run it hasn't ran for 40 years Hard to see in here, no power steering, no air conditioner, CB radio, four speed manual, 1969 Ford with 65,000 miles it says, but I'm sure it's got more than that. It's probably got 165, 265,000, who knows. CB antenna, two wood drive, and it's got one of them oil bath air cleaners and when it backfires it has a nice little fire when you're trying to start it. And it has no power absolutely no power it's a dog the engine it's not seized i can turn it here with the fan i think not seized no compression very good either so that's not good i'm not sure what size engine that is but it don't burn no oil though the f600's leaking huh must be snow inside the box Here's our 4430 John Deere. We've overhauled it once, probably. It's got some hours on it. We've owned it since almost due. Uh, 1976, I believe it is. It's a very good tractor. We use it to bale and cut hay and rake. Very strong tractor. We converted it to 24 volt system starter. And you see everything works, you just put new tires on it. A few years ago, but it seems like you just did it. Don't use any oil. It's a good tractor. The batteries are actually dead on it. We got the spiral batteries in there and they've been in there since 2005. So I won't start it because I know it won't start. The batteries are dead. But it's a very good tractor. You just change oil, fill filter, and maintenance, and just go. And the Magnum, you know, just left you kind of hanging in there with every little stupid problem. This one, you don't have any issues. Just go. So my dad has not run this diesel lawnmower at all, and I don't know why. If the battery's shot or something's wrong with it, I don't know. So let's just try it for the hell of it and see. I don't know what's wrong with it. Glow plugs. I'm sure the battery's dead. Looks pretty weak.
I smell something burning, but let's try it. Yep. I didn't think so. Hey everyone, you're looking at my four-wheeler. So, it is a TRX 250X 1992 Honda two-wheel drive four-wheeler, five-speed manual. It's got a kickstart, no electric, very cold-blooded, and we're going to do an old start. It has not been started for six months. <laughs> so, it's 35 degrees Fahrenheit today. Wish me luck. So I'm going to start it in here because the tires are flat and I cannot push it out of there and I, if it don't start, I'd be mad because I just pushed it out there for that. So it's fired up and let's use a choke. <laughs> choke, ignition on, let's go. So what we're going to do is, I know I shut up, but I don't want to get carpeted out of here. I'm going to get something to pump the tires up, and it's kind of windy today. I'm going to set the camera up, and I'm going to do a video of me driving it. Typical Honda, guys. Cold-blooded. don't attempt to what I did though. You'll end up getting hurt, serious injuries. You'd almost have to have a helmet on if you do something like that. Burns a little oil every start up once in a while, but it doesn't move up a whole bunch. It's going to stall. Let me try to point the camera down the driveway so you can see me going down the driveway.
Sounds mint. Well, there you go. It's gonna die on me, but. Good running for you.